So thank you today for joining today. My name is David Pletus. I'm the founder and CEO here at Better Cloud. And we're here for the webinar, What No One Tells You About Managing SaaS, What No One Tells You About Managing SaaS Environments, Six Guiding Principles for IT Success. So at this point, I think everyone would agree with this that SaaS is the system of record. For anyone who's been on webinars with me before, who if we've met before, you know that this is this has been what I've I've been saying for the last five, six years. SaaS will become the system of record and it is now the system of record. And it doesn't matter what kind of data we're talking about. The most mission critical data is being stored in SaaS applications, being trusted, if you will, to SaaS applications. It could be employee data, moving from PeopleSoft or SAP to Workday, namely. It could be customer data um, in your CRM or your ticketing system, identity, finance. It it really doesn't matter. At this point, SaaS is being trusted as a system of record for all your organization's critical data. And this is a tipping point we have reached in the last, really the last couple of years, where enterprises are saying, not only do I trust these SaaS applications, I'd actually prefer to leverage these SaaS applications because now these SaaS applications can, can really change how an organization runs. I mean, truly revolutionize work. Again, another big passion of mine that I've talked about a lot is reducing reducing friction in the workplace. And these SaaS applications, as they're getting adopted, they are doing just that. If they're if they're deployed correctly, the SaaS applications, the 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 primary, uh, you know, most popular, best in class SaaS applications are reducing friction in the workplace and it's it's actually making work in my opinion more enjoyable um it's taking a lot of the inefficiencies out of work and and if you if you look at the satisfaction of organizations i've looked at companies that have migrated 100 percent from legacy technology to SaaS, and and they look at their customers in terms of their end users their employee satisfaction and it goes through the roof because they're starting to use applications that they use in their personal life. They, they're, they're, they're not having to change their behavior when they come into the office and, and take 17 extra steps to do something. So it's amazing. I mean, I, I am the biggest proponent of SaaS uh, out there and I have been for many years. Now with that though, for, for the people who are on this webinar, the people who are our customers in our community, for IT, really nobody tells you what's about to happen after you make this shift. And again, the shift is the shift needs to happen. I, I if 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 it does not happen, it's going to hurt recruiting, it's going to hurt productivity, innovation. I mean, the shift ha to SaaS has to happen. But um it it uh, really there's n there's no one who says to you, "Hey, when you make this shift, you're going to run into a, a a number of challenges." Number 1, no one no one says to you, users can now expose sensitive data pretty easily and even this is not malicious i mean this this could just be by a mistake this could be that the default button when sharing a when sending a file is to share that file publicly and uh or the button to share publicly versus share internally is a couple pixels away it's not necessarily a user's fault per se but it's very easy it's very, very easy. Um, no one tells you that the email settings, it's it's pretty straightforward for someone to go and forward their email to their personal Gmail account and have every email going out. And, you know, no, just that is not really talked about. Um, and no one really talks about the data sprawl. No one talks about the fact that there's now data living everywhere. The same piece of data could be living in five places. You could have a file that's living in Google that's also attached to a Salesforce account that's also uh, been uploaded to Slack. Um, you can literally have data objects that are living in multiple places, replicated in multiple places. Um, you've got users who are no longer just part of a in email distribution list or some group in Active Directory, they're part of channels in Slack, they're part of email distribution lists in, in, in Office 365, they're part of um, Zendesk groups, they're part of this role in Salesforce. So it's just sprawl. And maybe one that, that I, I would say is the least appreciated is the fact that almost everyone that you're gonna uh, give admin access to is probably going to get super admin access. 
this is not the right thing to do. Um, this is not, uh, again, malicious by any way, stretch the imagination. This is because the SaaS applications generally don't have the granularity from an access control perspective that you would, you would need in order to follow a least privilege model. So no one says that. I would bet right now that a large percentage of people who are on this webinar, I don't know, 90%, something like that, I would, I would say that you probably have way too many SaaS, uh, way too many super admins in your SaaS environment. Um, and we've seen companies, you know, the best practice is we, we've seen companies of 60, 70,000 employees that have three or four super admins. Um, but there, but that takes a lot of work to lock that down. Um, and for the most part, I would say most of the companies, you've got a 500 person company that has 20 super admins. That is not good. That is, that is way too much access for way too many people. And then no one really talks about all the repetitive tasks. When you talk about the sprawl, when you talk about a user living in so many different places, I mean, this is not this homogenous environment that we lived in where I'm a Microsoft shop, I'm a Google shop, I'm a what IBM shop. Like it's it's not like that. There's this homogenous environment is done. It's heterogeneous, it's the best in class uh, for every category. You could you could look at Microsoft and say I'm a Microsoft shop, but actually I'm using Slack instead of Teams. Or I'm a Google shop but I'm using Dropbox in addition to Drive. Um, this is this th this is the new uh, re normal because the, the, the ability for a company to get started and go very deep in a particular area and be the best in class, the, the technology that's out there and the cost to start up, it's be, it's no longer prohibit prohibitive. So with that, you've just got tasks that you have to take. You have to take actions in all these different places. And then there's a whole host of other challenges. I mean, you, I'm, we're going to go through this actually, but there's there's a whole host of challenges, and these are not things that we're just you know finding on our own. This is what customers tell us. This is over many years. This is what we're hearing. These are the 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 stories that we hear, the horror stories that we hear, the um, the exposures that we hear, and so there's all sorts of challenges. Um, and this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to really talk about the principles for taking control um, of 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 this environment of these environments.